guys. Welcome to our Facebook Live. A little blast live action coming at you on this beautiful Friday. I'm Caitlin Becker here with Mike Walters. We are going to start this off slightly different than usual because we broke a very big story on the site today and it's a video and I think you guys need to see the video to get the context. This is a video of Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys and it was shot in 2013. Let's take a look. Two seconds. Let's not take a look. <laughs> We're going to wait one second. Hey, Jennifer. Congratulations on the winning. Winning. Now, you know he's with a black girl tonight, don't you? <laughs> Look, if you don't know football um, and what's going on in the NFL, let me give you a two-second um, thing so you understand why this yeah, is Yeah, the important. context. The context. Jerry Jones is in a big all-out war with Roger Goodell, who's the commissioner of the NFL. Part of their argument is about the star of the Dallas Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott. There's a suspension, and they're fighting over the amount of games, the amount of time, and one of the things going on currently is that the, all of the owners of the NFL are trying to extend the commissioner's contract. They, they want him to remain commissioner. Jerry Jones has come out against that. Now, Another part of this you should understand, if you don't, obviously I think everyone watching this knows there is controversy with um, players kneeling during the national anthem. There's a um, lot of racial and political and cultural tension within the NFL and the U.S. right now. I am right. not a huge sports fan, but clearly anyone right. who follows the news is knows aware of all that, of that. Right. And, and so if you don't know this, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones, who you just saw on video, is one of the owners, actually the only one that has said you cannot kneel during the national anthem. Regardless of what you are protesting or who you are, you cannot do it or you will not play. Obviously, people have judged that because who, as a white owner of an of a NFL team, can, can tell an African-American player who wants to protest because of the way they are treated in society during the national anthem, the fact that he tells them, orders them not to do it, is what people think there's a little bit of I'm telling you what to do white person to black employee now well and infringing upon your first amendment right to free speech i think that's Absolutely. that's really the the crux of this is it is a constitutional issue Absolutely. um and then wrap that up into all of the racial tensions that are happening and what the protest is about um originally which was the police brutality against young black men right. that's you know at the root of this with Colin Kaepernick in the very beginning that's what started mm -hmm. this also now this video that we posted is just another layer into sort of what is going on in the NFL and sort of Jerry Jones world the, it right. is not related to the protests be very clear it's very yeah. I think in instances like this it's hard to separate um the news that was already happening from the news that's coming out. This was shot in 2013. This was not during the protests. The pro protests right. were not going on. Right. Um, but what's interesting, Mike, you just brought up the mm -hmm. quote that um, Jerry Jones recently said, mm -hmm. we cannot in the NFL in any way give the implication that we are in any way disrespecting the flag. Now, I want to say, because I'm glad you brought that up, let's, let's talk a little bit about this video specifically. So as Caitlin said, it was shot in 2013. Just so you know the background, it was shot at the Warwick Melrose Hotel in Dallas. A person, we are told, walked up, a white person, uh, walked up a male, asked him for a message to either his new wife or his new fiance, and then this is what happened. So Jerry Jones is talking to the camera, sending a message to Jennifer, Whoever that is, uh, they are. She, he is directly talking to her through her fiance or husband, and then makes the. If it's a joke, he makes the joke as the fact that the the, the male who's shooting it currently is with a black woman. Now there could be several reasons in we, context so that he says this. To but extrapolate, I don't, I don't, we don't even know. think we should try. But I would say that while you see it, and you should go to theblast.com if you want to hear it several more times, you should listen to it. The, the only the few ways this could be interpreted is that the fact that he's with somebody else, another female. Yeah, you know what? Let's remove all of the racial implications. Totally. If I'm getting married and I'm a big fan of anybody, the last thing I want my congratulations messages to say is he's with another woman. And by the way, yeah, by the way, he's with another woman. Now. Uh, no, he, thank you. But that, okay, and I will leave it, my judgment on this, I will leave it at this. If he would have said that, 
is funny. But and it's still, it's kind still of a, a little weird, but he's saying, you know he's with a couple girls, right? Like, that's the, what he's saying. You he know doesn't he's with say a black that. girl. He says black girl. Now, and I'm just going to pose the question and not answer it. What does it matter that that person is black? Re whether or not he's being funny, whether or not he's saying he's with another woman, whether he's, say, he's saying he's unfaithful, or he's whether up he's to making no good a joke, or it's whatever his it was. party, doesn't matter. Up to no good. No. What does it matter that she's black? Now, I will, I will push you right back in your mind to what I said about this video and what's happening in the NFL. That is the reason that this video is a big deal because you have to look at everything that we're talking about, especially if you're an NFL sports fan, what's going on in the NFL, how people feel about it, and then hearing and seeing on video something that may give you background into what's going on. We have not heard from Jerry Jones. We have asked him for comment. We have asked the NFL for comment, whether they're going to investigate this, whether or not this matters to Roger Goodell in his arguments with, I have also reached out to Colin Kaepernick and whether he, how he feels about what's going on here. As we get this information, and like I said, we're gonna cut a little short here on Facebook Live because we are currently working on this as we speak. As we get the information, we will publish it on theblast.com. You will hear it. We did talk to Deion Sanders, who I think is a good person to talk to about this because on one hand, obviously he's an African-American athlete and a football player, was, but he also knows Jerry Jones and he has known him for many years. He played for him, right? He played for him. His opinion is that Jerry Jones is not racist, that he has known him for years, that this joke may have gone south while trying to tell it, and, and Dion believes it's a joke, but he's not going to judge him in one mo in moment in time for a lifetime of being a different type of person and a non-racist person. So, again, that is Dion's opinion. Dion is a good person, which is why we reached out to him uh, to give an opinion, because he knows the man, but he can understand the issue with the joke, if there's an issue racially, and says... It went south. So there you go. Um, like I said, we've reached out to a bunch of people because I think, again, the key to this is to hear and let you decide. And I, I'm not going to be real specific, but I will tell you, we worked on a story, Caitlin and I, together a week ago, similar to this, where you look at something and go, okay, let's not pass the judgment. Let's just say, as objective news reporters, we're going to put something out to the world so that everyone can decide how they feel about what they're seeing. And I think this is a perfect one, and we, we didn't put up the other story uh, for other reasons, but it would be the same. Uh, a lot of the sexual assault and sexual harassment and things going on in Hollywood is the same to me. Forget who I am or we are for a second. I think the public should see and hear and have the discussion about society, about race, about, about gender, about all of these things, and the fact that we're talking about it and you're seeing it and you're hearing it and you're letting the people have the discussion, even if you're the person of accused, you are, we are being able to discuss it. And I mean, that, is that the sort of brings up Al Franken from yesterday. I yeah. mean, he was the person of accused and of doing something particularly heinous. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm a personal Al Franken fan, but I was right. disgusted by all of this. And it sounds as though with his apology, he's disgusted by this. And he's um, engaging in the conversation that mm -hmm. his bad behavior um, has opened up and is trying to launch an investigation sort of into himself. And so when you are the accused in these situations, you have to own up to it and you have to talk about it. With this particular case with Jerry Jones, I find mm -hmm. it interesting on a lot of levels. Now, from a reporting standpoint, you have worked on a lot of the videos that have come out over the years or audio or what have you. When someone didn't know they were getting tape, taped, mm -hmm. a security camera footage, a fan footage, some celebrity did something wrong, they weren't sure, didn't have any idea they were being taped, and the tape gets leaked. Yeah. This strikes me as particularly interesting because he's talking to the camera. Absolutely. And, and i absolutely right. And you're right. I have worked on probably the biggest racial story and in doesn't the history this feel of sports, a little different. Donald Sterling. Yeah, the difference to me is, you're right, that, I mean, I think, I think, obviously, he may have had a few drinks here in the video, too. Uh, he did the, slur, he's near trying to say the word kind of wedding. Slurred. So, to me, if they didn't know they were being taped, 
I think you get a raw form of how the person feels. You do sometimes on camera, maybe get a little filtered version of how they feel, but in this case, you're right. Jerry Jones is talking directly at the camera and makes a joke, let's call it a joke for now, and I'm just gonna give him that one, that he makes a joke about Someone a woman being raped. black. Yeah. So to me, you need to tear that apart as sports fans, as society, and look at what it is and decide for yourself. And again, I'm just gonna give you both sides. Whether this is harmless, whether it's okay to say, or whether there's institutional racism that needs to be addressed. And I will say that from a place of being uh, a family of a law, a law enforcement officers. My father, my brother, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, all law enforcement. And I will say to you that I have had this discussion before with my family about the fact that whether or not my father and my brother are not racist, there's not a racist bone in their body, but they are officers of the law and you have to address whether or not you believe in all these instances, which is why we're talking about this, whether or not there's actual institutional racism within the police force. And if there is, you have to discuss it, whether or not you're one of them or not. And to be clear, Period. it is not lost on either one of us that we are both white. You know what 100%. I mean? We're coming at this from the same way that you as a male could only relate as far as you can relate to me who's been sexually harassed at work or and, to and, women. And, and I, we've and in, had this conversation. 100%. Me and Kay, I mean, we could literally just turn and talk to each other. I have sat across from Caitlin yeah. and, and said that, that yes, I, I can't we're imagine, aware that nor we can't. can I tell you how you or a woman would feel in that situation. I cannot tell you, and I don't think it's fair for me. That's why I'm trying to give you the information but not pass judgment. I am white. I am a man, so for me to tell you, here's what's wrong or right about this clip. Or here's how a black woman how you should, feel should feel about this. I can't, so I, I can't, leave I can't it to you out there in the world to watch this, to take it all in, whether you're black or white, it doesn't matter. Go watch this clip on theblast.com and think about it and discuss it, and I think that is the point of what we did here and that the point of us discussing sexual harassment and sexual assault and the just the environment of men and women in a workplace. And how about the environment in the NFL right now and what's going on with protests and the right of free speech and possibly and if there's jobs. any racism, then it needs to be addressed even if you believe there isn't. That is good that you're having the conversation. And that's what I think we have a the lot, there's so much more to unpack with this particular story. And of course, like Mike said, we will bring that to you as the developments are happening. Before we wrap up, we've got just a couple more things to get at. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get to all of them. I do. Fun? Anything fun, so, please. We, let's okay. end on something fun. Let's <laughs> okay, end. Let's Serena Williams please. got married. Yes. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. She wait had a, minute. a bang up, killer, amazing, tremendous, giant freaking yes. wedding in New Orleans. <laughs> and it was awesome. And by the way, frankly, me, that's why I'm excited. Look at how much fun First people all, are having. It's a Thursday. So like you, you get the call right? from Serena or you get the thing in the mail and it's like Thursday in New Orleans and the first thing you go is Thursday. Like it's not on Saturday. Wait, Although we get to go on vacation on a and Thursday. And these our... people don't work a nine to five. That's what I'm saying. Like Eva Longoria and Kim <laughs> Kardashian, they five. just got on their private jet, <laughs> flew out to New Orleans, at, you know, high five. That's the is. happy couple. Oh my gosh, um, he is Alex. the founder of Reddit. We love Reddit here at The Blast. We do love Reddit. Um, coolest guy ever. And, and a couple things, my favorite part, two things, and we're going to argue this later on Blast Off. If you haven't seen Blast Off on our site, it is our opinions a lot of times. Oh, yeah, it's we didn't do it's that. arguing we opinions, so I'm not going to start the argument with Caitlin right now. We are going to film it and show you uh, about whether or not they should have the cases uh, where they block your lock your phone when you go into the wedding. But I will say that's my favorite part, one, that she locked everybody's phones, even the A-listers. My second favorite part is the carousel. There was an I don't actual know, but I don't carousel. Know, the, we don't know if that story went up yet. No, I'm not gonna. I, I don't even know what the story is. I know we're working on a story with it. There, it was, I know there it was is expensive, one. We'll tell you that there, much. Yeah, there is one, and I'll just talk about that. An actual porcelain horse carousel inside the actual wedding, where they rode around after a couple martinis oh my, on the horses. So much fun. I could just imagine myself going. Did you see the favors? Hold onto the thing. And there was some things they gave out. Talk to me. About I don't. It. Need, are you? Can, can you? Do you feel too big to go on a carousel? Do they let grown-ups go on, or are they just for kids? Thank you for pointing out no. I'm fat. I'm I didn't point out your fat. We're just grown-ups. No, you know, I get it. It's no, for kids. You're right. I've Carousel's been arguing with Caitlin for the last two weeks about lunch, too. Because, because he doesn't eat solid food. It's weird. Because I'm trying to 
not be so heavy on the carousel. So okay. eat real, so, eat a salad instead of drinking yes, a juice. I frequent South Coast Plaza in Orange County, and yes, my children get on the carousel, and I do not. Yes, because it slows it down and goes. I think the one horse looks like it's no, struggling it's like, it's like, in the like, corner. It, when, I, when it's on, it goes. You see, and like the bar. Goes, and I get up. When I get back on again. Yes, I realize that. It scrapes the floor when I'm standing on it. I know. There's also a bench for big people right next to the oh horses. My God. There's always You're... one bench. I always wonder what it was for. Now that I'm big and, and, and 37 years old, I have to sit on You're the not fat big. chair Mike, how tall inside are you? the carousel and just go. Uh, how tall are you? Six foot. Okay, so it's not like he's a petite man that we're make, making a joke that he's Large heavy. and in charge, but, but I'm saying that I have to sit in the fat chair on the carousel. I get it. I know. Ugh, I have stop to sit it. there. But anyways, well, no one was sitting in the fat chair at the wedding because there was a I ton of going... beautiful people and yeah. athletes. They gave out mini Wimbledon trophies uh, with the celebrities' names on it as the favorite. So cool. How freaking... So cool. Well, it wasn't cool for Caroline Wozniacki, who hasn't actually oh. won one. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, but now she has one. Now she has Serena's, one. What's Serena's name on? <laughs> <laughs> in her house. All right, I there we go. Right. We've ended okay, on something well, fun. Yes. See you guys later. We'll see you on Monday. But do yourself a favor. Go back to theblast.com. Take a look at this Jerry Jones video. And as we get more information, I believe in the next few hours, you will. there will be a lot more reaction to this. And tell us what you think. I mean, keep the right. comments coming. Absolutely. Keep your comments We're, going. Right. We are reading them. We are checking them. We are engaging with them. We want to know what you think. That right. is the entire point of why we do what it is that we do and mm -hmm. our opinions can only go so far because oh. we're two people and we put it on our, all of our social media facebook instagram twitter go share it go send it to your friends ask them what they yeah, think yeah we want to know what the you discussion. think discussion that is the point that's what's important see you guys monday Bye. <laughs>